Welcome back to Investing with Confidence by your sponsor, Online Trading Academy. 25 years teaching people just like you how to trade in the financial markets. When we talk about the markets, that's all the markets. Stocks, options, futures, Forex. We have education, different content, and actually investing classes that we had a lot of people text in on the last segment to come in to learn how to trade and, and invest. It's a physical class. Al teaches these. I teach these as well. And these are classes where we've taught thousands just like you how to get started with the markets. Text the word investing to the number 210 210 for two free tickets. That's text investing to the number 210 210 for two tickets and a quick start kit. And in this kit, we'll actually help you get started right away. In that last segment, we were talking about who actually moves the markets. It's the big money. And when we talk about the big money, that's the, the Goldman Sachs, it's the institutions, the the banks, the you know, the people that have billions and billions of dollars, the institutions that actually have billions, because that's what moves the markets. It, it all comes down to supply and demand, and we covered that a little bit. I want to talk about that a little bit more on this segment as well to understand how these markets actually function. But we were talking about, or Al was actually talking about, is following that big money. And I want to make sure that we talked about in this segment is where you find that information. A lot of people when they are looking to go learn how to trade and invest, they go to YouTube, which is probably the worst place to go, mm-hmm. or books where you find you know books with dust on them, outdated books on previous strategies, maybe from 30 years ago that typically don't work anymore, which are actually lagging indicators. But you got to think about this. The reality is if institutions move the markets, do you think it's possible for them to write the books to get the public to do certain things? It's possible. So that's why you need to understand who's moving the markets, how they do it, but where do you get that information? Mm -hmm. Al, let's talk a little bit about where you get that information to make those smart investing decisions to follow those institutions. Yeah, those big institutions are more than happy to have you look at YouTube or buy books or take books out of the library and, and try to find a strategy that works because they don't want you to know how to follow what they're doing. They, they, they need you to need them. So when we talk about facts, and we deal in reality and we deal with what factually moves the price of something. And as I said in that first segment, if you buy something, the only way you're going to benefit from that is if the price goes up. So you really have to have a strategy that helps you identify where that's going to happen. And, and it actually doesn't even make that much difference as to why it happens. It's just following who's making it happen. Mm-hmm. That's following the facts. And the facts are that the big institutions do that. They, When they buy something, they buy enough shares so the price goes up. It's, it's the basic rule of supply and demand. When there's more demand for something, price will go up. In the markets, in the financial markets, when there's more buyers for anything, price is going to go up. And and conversely, when there's more supply or more sellers, price will go down. That's that relationship between supply and demand. We're looking for an uh, for an imbalance between buyers and sellers, and who's winning? Who who has the upper hand? If the buyers do, the price is going to go up. So how do you identify that? It's all there for you on a price chart, a certain type of price chart. If you know how to read it, uh, you don't have to go to school to like a radiologist, for example. Uh, went through years of training to be able to identify what you see on a, on, a, on an X-ray. Uh, the, we want to kind of we want to try to keep it as simple as possible and just learn how to identify in a price chart where these guys are already making their moves. They know more than we do. That you know the big institutions. Wall Street spends probably thirty to forty billion dollars a year on research and data and sophisticated equipment that we'll never get or never get in the quantity that, that they do to be able to identify the, the, the precise point at which to get into something that reflects the true value of, a, of an investment or when it's overvalued. We don't need to do that We just because they're showing us that. So on a price chart, we show you how to read that, how to find what that price chart is, is telling us, what it's showing us. Uh, and, it, you know, you can, you can get all the knowledge that is available out there. You can learn everything there is to learn about the the markets. You can even learn how to to read the price chart like we're telling you or like we show you. But there's one thing that if it's not controlled is almost going to assure you failure 
or at least underperform it. And that's controlling your emotions. So there's more than just the knowledge and the ability or the skills to use the knowledge. You have to control your emotions. And if you don't, you're probably going to be doing the exact opposite of what you should do. Everybody would agree with me, I'm sure, that you're supposed to buy low and sell high. That's just is, is common sense. Uh, but in reality, because of the emotions we have as human beings, the public typically does the opposite. They get euphoric when they see the price of something go up. They start buying, and they buy after a good part of the move has already taken place. The, the con, you know, Conversely, when the price is going down, panic takes over, and, and people sell because they don't know when the price of something is going to stop going down. Well, it's going to stop going down when there are buyers that will stop it. And it will stop going up when there are sellers that will stop it from going up. So doesn't it really become important to be able to know where the buyers and the sellers are? And that's what we're saying with our core strategy. We show you how to, with a high degree of accuracy, uh, identify those. You control your emotions, by the way, by having a plan. You start with a plan and that we help you to put together and then you have to have the discipline to follow the plan. I think that word discipline maybe is one of the most important components of success. And then you have to follow a, a, an approach that is more systematic. It's a, it's a step-by-step process based on a set of rules. If you follow a set of rules that have been developed for you by people that are successful as investors and traders, and, and that has been shown to work over time, if you follow those rules, it's going to take your thinking and uh, your opinions out of your trading. And you really need to do that because if you're relying on, on what you think will happen, on your opinions and what you logically think will happen, the market's going to take advantage of you and, and really it, it, it's going to really hamper your ability to be successful. Follow what factually moves the price of something. It's there for us. We just... We'll show you how to find it on a price chart. Yep, that's the key. Just to kind of recap there, where you find your information, as Al is talking about, is on a price chart. And then when you come into these, to these investing classes, we'll kind of show you where where that might be, what that looks like, and how to make those decisions there. But you also have to have a timing strategy, which is where to get into your positions, but also to where to get out, but also to have odds in your favor. And that's the key is having the odds in your favor, increasing your probabilities in the markets. And when you do that, you have a plan. And with a step-by-step plan that will guide you through that, you'll remove those emotions. And that's where you get guided by mentors. Online Trading Academy has mentors to guide people through their educated decisions in the markets, whether they're doing longer-term strategies, whether they're doing short-term strategies. It doesn't matter what type of strategy that you're looking to use the market for. Online Trading Academy has techniques and concepts on how to make smart investing decisions in whatever strategy you're looking for. So we have these investing classes. If you do want to learn more, if you're that eager and you're that person that wants to learn, how do you do different things? How do you make better choices in, in the markets, especially the stock market? Come to one of these classes. They're about two hours. Uh, By the way, they're free, and these are classes where where we've taught thousands, just like you, are many strategies, and these are designed to teach you to make better investing decisions. So text the word investing to the number 210-210. I'm going to let you get your phone ready. Text the word investing to the number 210-210, and that's for two tickets for an investing class and a quick start kit. This kit actually includes some free stock picks. So, Al, we, we now know that you get your information from a price chart. You need steps within a strategy. Online mm-hmm. Trading Academy has that strategy. It's called the core strategy. But what if somebody has income strategies that they're looking for? They sure. they want different income strategies on top of their job, or maybe they want this to be a full-time deal for them for that type of strategy. Sure. What are some of the best assets to trade? Because we talk a lot about the stock market. Phenomenal opportunity for our listeners. But there's also other markets that uh, they might be missing out on. Right. And the reason, one of the reasons they're missing out on them, Josh, is because Wall Street doesn't really concentrate on those. If you're looking for income, which is something that you, you need on a shorter-term basis, you have to do something different than the typical Wall Street long-term portfolio. That's more of a, of a retirement type or wealth potentially wealth-building uh, strategy. But income requires income strategies require doing something different. It's not a, a stock portfolio that you put together, which typically is, is 
intended to be held for decades. It's something that, that you should be able to get into and out of on a short-term basis. And by short-term, that's that can vary. It could be you may get into and out of it the same day. It may be a couple of days or a week or a month or so. But short-term is not decades. And what we know, Josh, is that the, the people that are truly financially successful in this country, in the world, actually, we talk about this a lot, uh, have multiple sources of income. Good point. You know, three to five sources of income. And that's not multiple jobs. It's maybe one job and and the rest come from something else. And, and typically it's the, the markets, the components of the markets are part of that. It could be futures. It could be options, Forex, uh, the real estate market. So what if people worked in the day? People think that you have to be glued to your computer screen. Sure. Can you do things off hours? Yeah, absolutely. You you need to not be glued to your computer screen. But there are assets that trade 24 hours a day. Uh, the Forex market, the, that's the foreign exchange market, where you're looking at the difference in uh, interest rates between two different currencies. And the futures market, which is uh, at basically 20, it's 23 hours and 45 minutes a day. Those assets not only have much greater uh, trading time periods, but they also have trade with leverage. Which means, and this is one of the reasons that the big institutions and the successful people in this country use them, is because you can have a smaller amount of money that controls an investment that's multiple of it. It may be a, a an investment that has a leverage of, of 50 to 1 or 20 to 1 or 100 to 1. That's where you maximize the value of your money. Not only do, uh, do you control more uh, shares of something or more contracts of something, or just a higher value of something for a smaller amount of money, it allows you to maybe be more diversified and have multiple strategies, or maybe if you're just in the stock market, the cost of, of equities is too high to be able to be properly diversified. Yeah, so to just give an example, I was just talking about leverage in the financial markets, basically controlling a much larger asset with a smaller amount of capital. An example in everyday life could be like a mortgage. Mm-hmm. It's taking a small down payment, and you control a much larger investment like a home. So in that case, it's maybe 50000 bucks for a $500,000 home or whatever that may be, whatever that home is. In the markets, no, you don't need to use 50000 but you can use much less. Maybe you're tying up $500 or maybe $1,000 to control much more. So like for an example, in the in the Forex market, for every, say an investor has 2000 bucks. They have the opportunity to control up to a hundred thousand dollars right. in the forex market, and we'll kind of ex- explain to you how that actually works in these investing classes, and really how what what the forex market is, you know why it's used, and why us as regular retail investors why we can use it and speculate to make smart investing decisions, especially for income strategies, but also with the same thing with futures. What are some of the opportunities there? And and going back to when he was explaining the twenty four hour market. Basically, what that means is it's open all day long. So a lot of people that work during the day and they still want to have an income strategy but don't want to do it or go somewhere to do that, you can trade and invest from the comfort of your own home as long as you have an Internet connection. And I'm assuming here most people listening right now has an Internet connection. Most people, some people are watching the YouTube stream right now, investing with confidence or listening to the podcast, whether it's on uh, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, or Spotify, they're listening to it there. So you probably have some sort of internet connection. So you can trade and invest from the comfort of your own home after hours. If you want to learn more about that and get started learning some income strategies, I'm going to give you a text number here for some free tickets for an investing class that we do local here. And a lot of people are really like this class uh, because what they really are looking for is a physical place to go to learn how to trade and invest. Uh, whether it's for income strategies or longer-term wealth strategies. So text right now. Text the word investing to the number 210-210. That's text investing to the number 210-210. In this uh, quick start kit that you're also going to receive, there'll be a couple things, and there'll be some information on how to get started if you're brand new, but also there's some free stock picks in there. That way you can see how supply and demand actually works on a price chart, which is where you find your information. Coming up next, we're going to talk about more strategies, but also we're going to get into wealth strategies on top of that income. So kind of an income slash wealth strategy for people that are working still, but also strategies for people that are retired. Coming up next, this is Josh and Al. 
we will be right back. 